Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. The Fracture Ward, and we also need to do maintenance. Zero of one players have researched this one, so we want to go and work on that bit. And then over here in Lovesick, over on this bit, i got Timed Moneymaker right there. This is Smoodalini's one that we've got right here. And we've also got Timed Research over there for Smoodalini. Uh, Ducky goes bad. Has she got another one? So if I start a new... Right, I've got that one there. I've been invited. What's, what's this? Because there's nothing up there. I'm just wondering if... Uh, I've got that one. Ducky goes bad has done that. And then in here, we've got the Times Moneymaker that we did, and we've got that bit that we did. We haven't got any other bits at the moment. Um, completed three nodes. So I've got Lovesick over here that Smoodalini has got. So I've got the Times Moneymaker that I can do to help him out, and I've also got the Timed Research that I can do to help him out. Um... I wonder if I start to start start. Oh, I see. Start new project. We got hair removal. We're, we're working on love sick at the moment. Right. Well, in which case, we will do our own love sick one, and we will do that one. Fracture ward right there. Uh, started objective staff development. I don't know if that's the next one on here. So she's like getting on ahead of what we've done. It could be. It could be that that's what it is. So if we do that one, then that's the one that we're sort of competing in together. So we will continue. Oh, wait, no, there was something else that I wanted to do before I went back into here. Um, it was the the game like that. There was there was an extra bit. So we want to go out to map like this. Uh, it was Korea. That's what I. That's what I was looking at. There, like, get an organization value of $10 million. We want to collect that one right there. I uh, don't have any others at the moment. Uh, Two-point health ministry is awarded you with 250k points. Fan schmastic. So we will go into there and we will continue on in here. Now, the other thing that I wanted to ask you about was... Wait a minute. Let's just let it keep going. We'll, we'll let it start up now and, and keep going and doing what it needs to do. Janitor's uh, call to mend easy scan. Right, we need janitor to mend easy scan. The other thing I wanted to ask you was how long do you want me to work, stay on this game for? What is What sort of objectives do you want? I know there are a few of you who have stated that you would like to see me. Right, genetics has been learned over here. As a few of you would like to see me take a hospital up to a higher rating, because I've only been doing the minimum rating, and I've now started looking at some of the DLCs. I'm sort of assuming that you want me to do a hospital at least from each of the DLCs. We've got this one here from the green. Uh, there's one from the beaches. There's uh, at least one from the yetis. Um, my plan is to play this game until... We, fight, we reach a suitable point where we move on, and then I'm going to be moving on and playing Slime Rancher to replace this series. When do you want me to do that? I'm really loving this game, and I'm quite happy to stay playing this game for quite a while yet, but it does depend on you, the viewers. What would you like to see for the rest of the series? Do you want me to work through the other zones, and then when I've done all of them, then pick a hospital, your favourite one out of all of them, and we see if we can get that one all the way up to maximum reputation, something like that? Or would you rather I started working on one, like, do one hospital from the beach zones, one hospital from the yeti zones, and then pick a hospital from somewhere and get it all the way up to absolute maximum that we can. Um, I, I don't mind with what would appeal to you most. So get in the comment section and talk about that. What would you like to see from the series? I want to go in here and we want to train up psychiatry. Now, at the moment, I've got one trainee available, which is... Ready for training, level 2 psychiatry right here. Trainers available. I've got my own doctor right there, which I'm going to... Um, he's he's going to do that. And you are going to have your level 2 psychiatry trained there. So we'll start that training in here. And yes, it's uh, not brilliant, but it'll do. We've got cure rate of 70% at the moment. Patients, 14 out of 20. Maintenance announcement. Right on there. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Get a level 4 PANS lab. Plus 25% happiness and 10k points. Right. 
That's our pan lab right here, pan's lab. So I'm, oh, hang on, staff promotion right there, junior doctor to doctor. Let's boost you up. We want to make sure that you are super happy with life in general. The pan's lab is currently with that. That one's um had some success in there. Okay, we're going to. I'm just going to pause a second. Actually, I'm 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 going to go into here and I'm going to edit so we want this one to be a level four we've only just reached level three on the pans lab we don't have a boatload of money to do this so we've got to be a little bit careful i've got a couple plants in here uh i don't want the training posters or the eye test or the raw shack we will go with a food pyramid poster that one can go on the wall over here we'll put that one in there like that a uh, clown poster Light-headed, uh, eight-bitten, animal magnetism, and what else we got? We got mock star in here. That one can go there. Uh, that clock I'm gonna put there in the middle, like actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the clock there in between the plants, and then I can put gray anatomy there. I can put pandemic there. So I've got a nice selection of posters all the way along that wall. Uh, then I want the shock horror poster there in that corner. Turtle head next to it. Premature mummification next to that one. That's boosted our prestige up quite considerably. We will put in a Jasmine Odyssey photo. That one is actually going to go over here, I think. We'll put that one above the fire extinguisher. And we'll put a gold record over on this side, right in there. And that's given us our level 4 prestige for the princely sum of $1,000. There we go. Fantastic staff challenge is done. And that should have boosted our wellness index a tiny little bit. Let's get things rushing along. We've got the colouring thing being done over here. Maintenance needed in staff room. We've got another one over there ready. Ooh, Grey Anatomy, you are not looking very healthy. Woodwork unlocked. Ooh, fantastic. Right, woodwork is unlocked. I need that person to get in here pretty quick so that they can get treated, because otherwise they're going to end up perishing. Uh... Let's just pause a second. Research complete. Of course, nothing treats puppets like more puppets. Now we can cure patients suffering from woodworms. Rewards woodwork. Right, excellent. And we've got a promotion right there. Promote. Okay. So we have got a woodwork place. We also... I want to go over to the lab over here. I've got $8,000. I'm almost definitely not going to have the money to do anything fancy schmancy at the moment for building a new thing we can upgrade woodwork training research can go on all the way up to level five now if i want to or i can do some of these and have these as upgrade upgrade the shock clinic upgrade the dna lab advanced upgrade recovery room design a machine to recompopulate patients suffering from cubism right i definitely think we want to do that one that's a brand new disease right there i want this one i need woodwork what are we what are we uh woodwork right twenty five thousand dollars that is a four by four as well we're not going to do that just yet so let's start things moving along another staff promotion right there let's move you up so that you are super happy there as nurse to senior nurse Training should be finished soon. Training will... Another staff promotion. Let's move you on up so that you're happy. Announcement. Bins will become full. Bins... Another staff promotion. What is with all the staff promotions? This is insane. Promote. I'm going to have to start working through these doctors now and getting a lot of training. I've cured a patient in Fracture Ward. Excellent. We want to make sure that we keep working on tra uh, patients being treated. Course training completed. Excellent. Now we can go and have a look at our doctors. We've got train 17 trainees available. I've got a lot of doctors now. The, G the GPs, that's what it is. All of the GPs have suddenly got level 3 GPism available. So if I take you in here and then I go with courses available, I want GP level 3 Right there, trainers available, I've only got that. It's going to cost me $25,000 to get that one course. 
Uh, I'd like to do that, and then I could train all of my GPs with level 3 GPism, which I think would be absolutely fantastic. What have we got? Can I repay any loans at all? Right, no. Okay, loans aren't happening. That's not happening. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Let's have a look, and maybe we could do another training course instead. Uh, trainees available. I've got one janitor there. There's two janitors, junior janitor, junior janitor. I've got a junior doctor over here who's in radiology. i got another one there for radiology as well. So really, if I was to put diagnostics onto that junior doctor, that would go really well because he is a diagnostic doctor. 20% uh, diagnostic uh, diagnosis skill in x-ray and then just general diagnosis. So, I mean, actually, I want those to go for their x-ray level too janitors let's have the jan right I, I i want some janitors ready for training in here so we'll go with the courses i can do mechanics which allows them to do upgrades uh maintenance increases their maintenance skill or we've got things like motivation speed and efficiency being trained up i'm thinking motivation would be a pretty good one to go for because the speed and efficiency would be really good i mean maintenance would be nice but we don't necessarily need that with our janitors. We've got several... I've got three janitors captured with ghost capture already. So I'm going to do motivation for you. And then I'm going to... We don't want nurses and doctors having being motivated. Uh, you're a nurse. Nurse. Janitor right there. I Janitor can have motivation trained. Another janitor there. You can have motivation trained. That will do. We will have three of you training in here. I've got two janitors here who could do the training for motivation. I'm just going to take that janitor right there. He's going to do that training. 14 to 21 days for that particular course. So let's start that training. There we go. That's not going to cost us anything, which is absolutely fantastic. Eco rating, visiting the PANS lab. I am hoping that you really like the Pan's Lab. Let's let's eat. Please, well, he liked that one. Elixir. He liked that one. John Hinges has taken our nice words of oh, the what? day idea a little bit too literally, I believe. His suggestions were sponge, curvature, and plonk. Well, those are very nice words, John. So I'll let that stand. We have our, the highest yearly profits of 200,000 out of everybody. That's pretty good. I like that. Staff promotion right there. Promote you all the way up. So I've got 13,000 at the moment. And our wellness funding is 103%. Eco rating. 15 grand coming in. Uh, we scored a green-tastic on our latest eco rating. The hospital could run forever without causing any kind of cataclysmic end of times. And, funnily enough, that's exactly what the department has been trying to promote. Excellent. Right, there's 32,500. That is going to be enough as soon as this is done over here. It's that one there. It's not the air conditioning that's doing the training. It's the... There we go. Motivation has been learned. So now I can go into here and I can do GPism there. And we will go here and we will get a trainer. There's 25,000 it's going to cost me to do this. Dr. Melissa Diamond can take that first course right there. And she can train. That is going to cost me 25,000 in total to do that course. Then when that one has been completed, we will then use Dr. Melissa Diamond to train that out across the other three GPs so they've all got really good diagnosis skills in their GP surgeries, which would be absolutely wonderful. Now, the fracture ward over here currently doesn't have anybody coming into it. It's a little bit of shame. I would like people to be coming into the fracture ward. That's dropped down to 102. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. No urinating in the hospital. Right. We also want to upgrade these two over here. We'll get them the next upgrade on that. I need to do a uh, woodworking zone as well. Staff promotion. There, promote you. Student nurse to junior nurse. 
I've got another patient in here. That's good. Another staff promotion there. Doctor. Promote. Everybody is getting promoted. Like, the promotion's going up big time now. Woodwork required. Get patient to wait, because that will be along soon. I will actually have that in place very, very soon. Woodwork required. Get patient to wait. We've, we've got the treatment. Pharmacy emergency. A group of pharmacy patients have been processed by a holistics hospital and are now nicely scented and looking for further treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients here. We do not have a pharmacy. Yes, send them here. Driving for pharmacy. Right, pharmacy required. Get patient to wait. A patient with ramshackled is seeking treatment. Room required to treat them is pharmacy. Get patient to wait. Uh, they're, they're all the same one. They're, they're all the ramshackled. So we need to build the pharmacy before we can do anything else. Then I can get you doing your bit. So where are we going to have our pharmacy? Uh, that's a relatively simple bit of treatment, but it is still treatment. And I've been putting my treatment rooms up over this side. And sort of branching out over here. I think we'll put a pharmacy here close to psychiatry. That one. Actually, we can put the pharmacy right in here. If I go to room and I go to pharmacy room here like that. No, it won't let me there. That's what I want to do. I want to put the pharmacy room can go right there like that. And the door can go there on the front like that. And I can bring that one in here. That one will go that way round, and it will go into that corner there. We'll put a medicine cabinet or two in here as well. Put that one there. Just move that one up a bit there, like that. And another medicine cabinet can go in here. Actually, I can't put another one in there. So I'll need to put the medicine cabinet... I put one into that corner, and then I'll put another one there, like that. And then I'm going to do the same over in this corner. I'm going to put one right in that corner, and I'm going to put one out over there. I could put another one over here, one more in there. But they're starting to get a little bit expensive, and I want to do a few other, there's a few other bits. We need a toxic waste bin in for a place like this. We need a recycling bin, obviously. We've got to have our recycling bins. It's very important to have them. Uh, where can I put the recycling bin? I cannot have a recycling bin and all of the stuff that I've got in here. So we're going to get rid of that one and that one. And then I can put my recycling bin in here. That one will go there and we'll put a fire extinguisher in there. And we will put some hand sanitizer in here as well. That's also very, very important. And we also want an air conditioning unit. Let's not forget that. And finally, we will put a rose bush in here, except that that one can't go in there. I could put it right in the middle, I suppose. Could I do that? No. All right, I won't put a rose bush in there. I will leave these like this, and we'll just have prestige level two in this room. Well, actually, no, we don't need to do that, do we? I could put a couple of posters in here. I, I, I can put posters behind the bins, some of these. Let's, let's do that one, and we'll do a grey anatomy in there as well. And I want one more poster, which will be animal magnetism. There. Fantastic. Right, I have now got a pharmacy in there, which will be able to treat people. I want to just go into staff, and I want to make sure that our nurses are going in the right places, and so on and so forth. I've got... Ted Sausage, who does genetics. He is the only one that's allowed to work in the genetics lab. Uh, we've got Morris Latrine, who is radiology. He is allowed to work in radiology, and so is Victor Source. And then I've got some treatment doctors over here who could also do with some training. Uh, your training is just about done. We've got the psychiatrists. I could also do a training Grant Moose in level 3 research. Now, I'm happy with the doctors. that They're doing okay. And I'm also mostly happy with the nurses. I just need someone who can work the pharmacy. Denise Sweat could do with Diagnostics 2. And she's also going to come out of the... She's not going to work pharmacy. 
She's going to not work the ward. She is going to work there. No, no, uh, no injection. No, there's treatment. I don't want her working any treatment rooms. And unfortunately, we've got this new room over here. So I've got to stop anybody being able to work in here that does diagnosis or other jobs. You can work in there. And then down through here, you can as well. And those two there, they can work. And I now want to go... Right, okay, so I'm happy with them. I then want to go to hire, and I want to go to nurses. And I want a pharmacy specialist. That is a pharmacy specialist, Harry Leotard, right there. He will work for Peanuts. He will do everything that I want him to do. So he is going to be the pharmacist. I need to go back into staff again and nurses. Uh, we need to go to the staff uh, list in here. He is only going to work in the pharmacy. So when he's on a break, someone else can cover him. But other than that, he will work the pharmacy. And I'll get him level 2 training in the pharmacy as well. There. That's that bit underway. Then we can come over here. General practice has now finished. And I'm going to go back to general practice. We're going to go courses. We're going to go general, pra general practice 3. I think I said general practice 2. Um, trainers available. Dr. Melissa Diamond is now the trainer. And then trainees available are the other three doctors. Get all of those three training in here. 35 days. We got 35 days now. Completed. 35 days now without any GPs. That is going to cause a little bit of a backlog in the hospital. But I'd rather have it all done at once rather than... Janitor called to mend fluid accelerator. Ooh, look, we got the helix thing working. What are you doing over here? Are you treating or are you doing diagnosis? I think you're doing diagnosis. Are these guys, these, these guys are all coming in for diagnosis. Too hot. Diagnosis required. bio -wheeze. Ooh, he's, he's actually got some treatment. Right, I want to see his treatment, but unfortunately this fella is nearly dead. What are you... No! The he elixir is, is, is not looking good. Now my doctor's... No! This, this is not how it's supposed to happen. I need... I, I need... You. Where, where did that doctor go? You, 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 over there. Right, where, where's that doctor gone? You are not working there. You are coming back over here. I got somebody over there who is dying. You go into the DNA lab. You come out. I don't want you repairing that at the moment. Now, where did that patient go? He's got bio weasel. There. Uh, pick you up. Where are you going now? He's coming back over this way. Please let him get in there and get treated. Yes. Right, good. Right, as long as, as, so, as long as he gets in the door, everything is going to be alright. And now we've got an earthquake which is going to bust up the helix. Yes, he survived. What on earth was that? Collaborative objective completed. Fracture ward rewards 10k points. Click here to see the status of the project. We'll do that in a minute. Woodwork required. Get patient to wait. There's so much nice. A uh, few more plants. Nice, but hospital attractiveness of 70%. What is our current hospital attractiveness? Reputation. Staff happiness. Hospital attractiveness there. It's currently 61%. We need to clean up the rub. There, there is a lot of... What is all this? I didn't even see what that bit was. This this is bad juju. I need my janitor to do something with this. Right, the course in general practice 3 has now finished. They're all going to come out and take care of these long queues of people. Our aircon units need maintenance. Janitor should be called. In Pan's lab. Right, they're sweeping this stuff up, the janitors. They're doing a fantastic job of it. Woodwork required, get patient to wait. Patient is storming out. I need money. I am going to need some money fairly soon. 
The janitors are all busy at the moment, picking up all of this from the firestorm that we had. Have we? It doesn't actually tell us. We've got Wander Off County Park. Welcome, Eco Rating, Archive Inbox. Yeah, it doesn't save the old messages. So I'm not sure what that one was. It was a warning to say what it was, but I didn't. I missed it. We're close End of to year. award season. Okay. Right, wait. Visitor from Holistics. CEO of Holistics, Augustus Lavender, will be coming to the hospital soon. He needs to lie low for a while because a group of employees who weren't thrilled receiving a homeopathic bonus have set up camp outside of his house, complete with pitchforks and burning effigy. Impress the uh, VIP with a nice hospital, and we get eight rep. Before I do that, let's go into the Superbug Network. We've done the we've done the research bit. We've also done Fracture Ward. Now that's completed. So we've got maintenance there, zero of one players. Timed research right there. Zero of two players have completed that. Uh, Ducky Goes Bad is working on staff development. Promote three staff. That I should be able to do reasonably quickly, so we will start that one as well, so that one's available to move on to the next bit, and then we'll go to another one as well, after we've done that. Uh, view in... Uh, wait a minute. Right, view this one. Let's see what we got. We've got none of the bottom line, and we haven't got the no death. I don't think we're going to get the no deaths one. Our hospital is too big at the moment. Let's open all. we got best research hospital. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind getting the best research hospital. $25,000 we've got right now. Is that going to be enough, or do we need to try and get a bit more? I need a woodwork room, 25100 I am not going to have room for any extra frills around the edge of it, but I do have enough to do this room here. So I'm going to put that one in there. That is a 4x4. Four four. We will want a door on here. And then, what on earth is this? Okay, I don't know what this is, but I love it. Woodwork, prestige level two. I absolutely love it. The toxic waste bin is quite expensive. I'll put a big bin in here. Put that one in there. We'll put the fire extinguisher. It's very important to have fire extinguisher. We'll put the... The hand sanitizer can wait. The air conditioning unit. That one definitely needs to go in. I want to go into that corner there. As you know, it won't. That one will go more in the middle of the room over there. There's 25, 450. I want a chair for somebody to sit on. It's another 150. It's quite an important thing for them to have. There's 25,600. Uh, we'll put a clock up here so they can watch the inexorable passage towards retirement. And that'll probably do, I should think. We haven't got any more money anyway. Right, I've now got a woodwork room. The D-Fib. Oh, <laughs> they look like Pin Pinocchio when they come in, the D-Fib. Right, we need nurses to be able to run this room. We need to go into staff, and we want to go into here. Uh, nurses, yes. I've already selected which nurses are allowed to come and work in this room. So we don't need to do any changes Today's in there. Today's sponsor and we can is start. Rent an Eel. Rent an Eel, for all of your short-term eel-based needs. This is Two Point Radio. Rent an Eel. Okay, right. I need to promote some staff. So there is one staff right there. There's the first one for our lovesick challenge. Uh... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later